Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of All the Mod 7. To this guys, how are you guys doing today? How's life? That is a bit too close. Anyhow, welcome to my teeny tiny platform where I have been sieving for a while. But do not be worried, we're going to expand it. Because I need more space for sieving, this place is cluttered. Yeah, I do have a feeling that for the moment this is a decent platform, just for sieving. I was under the impression that we have more than one diamond, yes. We're going to go big and we're going to have a diamond hammer. Yep, much better. Although the issue is that the number of sieves that we have is not great. We need to upgrade them. We have four already, so we need four more. And for some reason, I'm out of string. And I'm sure that the tree is going to catch on fire, but it's okay. We just want a bit. Oh, and by the way, I finally remembered. If you press K, it will compress it for you. Obviously, if you can do that in your inventory, otherwise you have to use a crafting table. Very good. We have four more sieves and four more iron meshes. For me, this is the perfect number of sieves, if it doesn't fall down. We stay here. Auto clicker pad. I don't have one. Do you really think if I had one, it would have taken this long? <laughs> the issue with having more sieves is that your storage is gonna be garbage. That's not how you do that. So blank chest upgrade, then the iron chest upgrade. Okay, now we know. I have been sieving for a while, I have been preparing some resources, and in the meantime, I was thinking. Our goal for today should be the automation of the sieving process, because this is just grindy. I mean, it's not really grindy, but instead of doing this all the time, uh, maybe we can focus on more interesting stuff. You go to hell. We have a new one. Anyways, as you guys probably know, in order to automate anything in modded Minecraft, we need power. I have been checking different methods that we can use in order to generate power and unfortunately it seems lava is our best bet. Oh and by the way, we have an emerald mesh. And yes, I did realize I'm blind, you do get bone meal. I don't know how I missed it in the JEI. Anyhow, according to the JEI, I did not understand how we can make this crucible go faster, but I remember that a superheated element from mechanism actually gives you a huge boost. I'm not really sure if this is still the case in 1.18 or not, uh, but let us try it. Here is a metallurgic infuser. We're going to need four pieces of steel, so eight coal and four iron. It's not gonna work, but I believe we can give it redstone. It's not very efficient. Actually, it's not that bad. I mean, it's better than wasting resources on making another stupid generator. Uh, but if the superheated element works, yes, we're going to need tons of steel, so we need a generator. Very cool, we have the steel dust. And I forgot you can use sulfur instead of coal. We get tons of sulfur. Why do I have gunpowder? Oh, it's from sieving dust. Also, we should really upgrade our furnaces. Uh, these are garbage. We upgrade you first. We go to copper. That should be a quest. No, it is perfectly fine. We go to iron. That is a quest. So are you gonna work any faster? Not really, but I guess it's easily automatable. Anyways, here is a steel casing, superheating element. Oops. I thought I dropped it, which if I put you over here, heat is 60. Just for comparison, with a torch, it's one. Okay, I remember for early game, heat sand was the best, but um, Naturo is not in 1.18. It's just that we're going to need a bajillion crucibles. Magmatic dynamos are also incredibly cheap because the only thing that we need is Invar. So I guess let us get some. This is just for my curiosity. Here is a magmatic dynamo. How much power are you going to make? 22 RF per tick. Our maximum is 40. It's not bad and it doesn't consume that much. Okay, now we know. Considering the fact that we are extremely poor, this is not the ideal setup that I want, but uh, we don't really have a choice. We're going to have four crucibles at this very moment. And yes, you can have a torch. These are some item pipes, that is correct. And here are some fluid pipes, which are literally just going to extract into the four dynamos that we have. I will make more, don't you worry. I also made myself a wrench and this should work. Yeah, they're getting power. By power, I meant lava. So the question is, which one do we want to automate first? A sieving or hammering? You need a diamond hammer. So a sieving it is. We need two blocks of iron, a hopper, some bars, and I guess one of my sieves? Yeah, exactly. We also don't really have any redstone, so um, it's a good thing that we got this. The sieve goes in, I don't think we would be able to make any upgrades. Oh, it does consume 16 RF per take. Huh, maybe that is something that we should think about. For the moment, you start sieving. Now, ah, place an inventory on the machine output. Where's the output? Here? Is it on the top? Yeah, maybe it's on the top. No, it was on the bottom. <laughs> okay. Also, just out of curiosity, how do we get redstone? Oh, it's dust. Ah. 
that explains. Actually, without the upgrade, it seems to be a very efficient machine. With the upgrade, I'm hoping for the best. So the speed is not different, it's just that it's going to do more items at a time? Yep, yeah, it's doing two. I'm sorry I asked. No upgrades. Okay. Even though we don't have any power in the dynamo, the buffer of the sieve is increasing, so we're not consuming that much. We can have more. Also, I think this is much more efficient than doing this manually. Uh, we're getting more ores. Now that we have extra diamonds, let us also make a hammer. I could have used the garbage one. Okay. Oh, you look awesome. But I'm guessing it's going to be much faster if I do this manually. Also, where the hell is your output? On the top? On the sides? <laughs> You're really not accepting any of them. Uh, which one is it? In the front? Yeah. What is the point of making a beautiful machine and then hiding it behind the chest? I don't know. I just came back from the twilight forest and I have been chopping down trees because we need to expand our base. This platform is garbage and I really need food. So I think here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with making two patches of farmland. Can I do this? Yes. Yeah, something like this should be fine. We have two identical buildings which don't have a roof, obviously, because we are very short on material. But one of them is going to be the kitchen and the other one is going to be our control room or workroom or whatever, because we need to set up an inventory panel from integrated dynamics. I need to manage my storage. Oh, and by the way, the farmland that we are using is called Phyto Soil. It's from Thermal Expansion and you make it with Phyto Grow and Charcoal, so it's kind of expensive. But without any power and without the relevant machine, it's not really affecting the growth of crops. So yeah, we will have the machine later on, don't you worry. But first things first, inventory. Uh, we need to have a mineral sapling, which we can sieve. And that means I really need to fix my inventory management faster because, well... It's been a while I'm looking for iron. It's okay, we smelt new ones. So it's like any sieve will do. That's interesting. I thought it has to be string. We just need some leaves. And just in case, we're going to get more. Yeah, decent number. I know that one day, <laughs> you're gonna throw me into the void. Oh, and by the way, I did make an extra sieve. Uh, this one doesn't have an upgrade. Oh, we also got rubber wood. I was looking for this. It's basically an add-on to FTB industrial contraptions, but we can use it in order to get rubber, and rubber is essentially slime balls. Yes, we have a mineral. I guess we plant you here. We just need a few bits and pieces. Oh, you jerk. I hate mineral trees. Yeah, you see? Every time there's something left. This should be enough for what we want to do. Let's get some more. I got a teeny tiny bit more, and let us see what we need. Uh, we are going to need the squeezer. So there you go. And we also need the drying basin. Oh, black dye. Obviously we can sieve for a black dye, but um, maybe we can find something here. Black shimmering mushroom. Yeah. Yeah, but you only give me one. I need another one. Aha, uh -huh. we found something much better. Which also reminds me, we have to get into Botania as soon as possible. Anywho, drying basin. And during not too complicated too, everybody has been yelling at me. You don't need a pipe. They didn't know you can do that. So we just put them next to each other and see what happens. Ah, oh, you were right. Nice. We just need a few blocks. Then it's going to be automated. It's just that I don't really know how many blocks. Um, I think 12? Uh-oh. It needs obsidian. It's okay, even though at this very moment we cannot mine obsidian, but we can make it in a barrel. One more piece. Come on. Thank you. So lava goes in. Water on top. We just get a bit. Inventory management is very painful, but here is a mechanical squeezer. And I guess here's the drying basin. We don't need the hammer anymore. We can put these guys next to each other. Squeezer, drying basin, and you do the job. Oh, you have to select it. Okay, now it works. You need so many items just to make a terminal. And one of those items is actually a slime ball, because we need to make a sticky piston. As you might notice, we don't really have access to any type of slimes, so we need to get creative. This is a rubber wood tree, and there are some items that we can use in order to get latex. So here is a tree tap, which goes in, good. Then we need to have a bucket. Yep, that is a wooden bucket. I think it goes here, 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 nowhere. Ah, yes. I think it's going to take a bajillion years until we get latex. It's okay. I can craft. Yes, we also need to make some paper, so some sugar cane, some variable cards, a display panel. Yes, we have a latex. 
which I believe, yes, it's going to give me a sticky piston. Therefore, we should be able to make the input variable transformer. I just made the main real glass as well. We need some glowstone if possible. And that should give me the terminal? Yes. So I guess the only thing remaining is that we need to get a ton of cables as well as interfaces. So here is a ton of cables, a bit more, and item interfaces which requires chests. So there you go. Oh, they give you night vision. Interesting. I think the way that we are going to do that is that we're going to have a row of chests, something like this. Connect them using a cable, I should sleep. And then maybe have another row of interfaces with chests on top. I have to make more chests and we need to upgrade them. But this should be a decent storage, right? So if I have my terminal, uh, do I have access to everything? Yes, I do. If that is the case, let me start moving the items. And I believe we have this mod in this mod pack where I can pick up a chest. Yep, I don't really like this mod, but it's useful. Also incredibly slow. I have moved every single chest to our storage area, I have upgraded some of them to copper, but we are very poor on resources. So I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to upgrade them, but that's something that we will do over time. In other news, there are a few more things that we need to do. Uh, we need to start enchantment. Because one thing that you might notice is that we would be able to enchant meshes, and if we get fortune, we're gonna get tons of resources. Enchantment requires a ton of books as well as a ton of levels, and we also need netherite. So I'm guessing, let us see how far we can push it. If we manage to kill the Nago, we would be able to unlock the Lich King Tower, and inside that tower, there are plenty of books. It's just that, uh, can we kill him? <laughs> well, he doesn't do that much damage. Oops. Maybe he does. Worst part is that I'm not doing that much damage. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be a terrible fight. We should be able to win this. Come on, die! Yes. Oh, we got a magma block. Also, where's the trophy? Oh, canopy chests. It's in here. Just to clarify, we don't really want to kill the lich. We just want some books. You know, like this one. What the... Okay, go to hell for one second. The books are actually upstairs. I just want to see the painting. Oh, that is nice. I think it's just a normal painting. <gasps> I love that. So if we come up here, it's safe and sound nice and plenty of books yeah that's more than enough what is here nice oh there were books here too <laughs> okay we take it well that went superbly well better than i thought uh, do we have more diamonds yes 20 then i guess the only thing that we need is some obsidian also i'm not really sure if i can enchant an emerald mesh then upgrade it to netherite and it will keep the enchantments so what we're going to do is that we're also going to go to the nether just to get some netherrack. We can get netherite scrap from crushed netherrack. That essentially means we just have to go to the nether. Please be a good... Nether. Aha. <laughs> Never mind. So this is why there was an easy recipe for netherrack. Witch water and lava. Yes, yes. We're going to ignore the boo-boo. And never talk about it. I got my igneous extruder, we just need one mycelium. We could have done that here as well, I guess. And we don't really want the mycelium to spread, so you stay over there. And I guess with one bucket of water, we should get witch water. Yes, same recipe. Portal makes a lot of noises. Are we good? Yeah, uh, so how did you work? Uh, redstone goes down there. Like so. Witch water is ready, that is also good. And we need one bucket of lava. So do we get anything? Yes. Perfection. And this time I was wise enough, I brought a pipe and a chest. I did the same thing with Deep Slate. But if we wanted to go a teeny tiny bit faster, I guess we need some upgrade kits. You don't look nice. We just remove you. And I guess we use some stairs? Yeah, that's better. No, this part looks weird. It's okay. The Electrum one is kind of expensive because we need Signalum, but we should be able to afford this one. We can make four. Nice. Actually, if I get more gold gears, uh, can I make six? Yes. Because I also want to upgrade the dynamos. Uh, we have four of them. Are you generating more? Yeah, 80. You get one. You also get one. Now it should be faster. Oh, come on. Yep, it's not significantly faster, but it's much better. I was hoping that by going to the nether, I'm going to... How did I do that? Ah, so wait a minute. Can I do this? You can, right? Yes. <laughs> this is so fun. I'm totally useless. Yeah, so, my dearest friend, give me some netherite. 
We got something. Uh, rose quartz. Eh. We are also getting a decent supply of ores. Maybe we should get into ore dabbling. Oh, we got cobalt. We don't exactly have enough experience to do some enchanting, but I realized uh, we get a lot of quests, and those quests are going to give us experience. And food. And more experience. Oh, I need to make you. I don't really want to. It's not a very useful thing to have, but I guess we can find a use for it. So are we good? Yes. I unlocked every single chapter, I claimed every single reward, and we do have 30 levels. We also have a few bottles of enchanting, so we should be okay. The biggest issue that I have is that you might notice, we don't have a single piece of netherite. And that is just sad. And honestly speaking, one thing that I really want to try and do is that I want to get better upgrades. It's not incredibly expensive, but we are going to need way more power. 512. Actually, if I pick you up, your request, and you're going to give me an upgrade. What do you do? I don't know what it does. Ah, oh, it increases efficiency. Do we have some sort of a boost? I think you're the one which will boost it up. Ah, no. It's you. A unit signalum. <laughs> and hardened glass. I can make a cheaty recipe for it. And signalum is just crushed items. Uh, we can do that. I was talking about ore dabbling and I was like, yeah, why the hell not? We can have a pulverizer. That also helps me to get some dust. So here is some signalum, which is different from this one. Okay, or dictionaries have problems, I guess. Yeah, now it gives you this signalum. Uh, for hardened glass, we are going to use the cheaty recipe. For making plates, it's not a bad idea to have a multi-servo press. So there you go. For the moment, let us start with two of them, so that we will know what is going to be the effect. How much are you going to generate? 240. That's a lot of work for nothing. So maybe what we are going to do is that... We're out of silver. I was going to say maybe what we're going to do is that we just go with one sieve for the moment. Because the speed is going to be crazy. And when I say I'm out of silver, don't you worry. There are plenty of ores. Oh, netherite. Okay. Oh, more. <laughs> nice. Ladies and gentlemen, I think our luck has changed. Depends on the enchantment, but you know. And what kind of enchantments are you going to give me? Nothing? That's not how you work then. It's okay, it's just gonna make it more expensive. We cannot make the Tome of Miners because, you know, Blaze Rot. Which at this very moment I don't think we can get, unless we can use a servo or something. Yeah, I don't see any ways of converting Blaze Powder into Blaze Rods. So we just try to enchant some books, I guess. Don't give me garbage. That is garbage. There is not much we can do, we go with the original plan. We're going to upgrade one of the sieves. Instead of doing two items at a time, it's going to do 16, so that's a huge upgrade. And by huge, I mean decent. Uh, so, I do have a few more augments. That should be enough, yeah. And let us see. Yeah, it's doing 16. Holy! It's just that we're not transferring the power fa- Oh! Uh, we don't have wires, all of them are independent. Also, for some reason, Netherrack gives us a ton of gold. Which is nice. The inventory management system from Integrated Dynamic is really neat, don't get me wrong, but it has one giant flaw. Uh, when you want to dump in the items, uh, see what happens. It doesn't go in. Uh, can we use some sort of an importer? Imports items into the network. So I guess you can give me a barrel, which we put it over there. I have a horrible pick. Uh, these things have facades, so we should be able to hide it later on. But do you even work? If I put items, nothing happens. I oh, need a variable card. Now does it work? Yeah, actually, I think the only thing that I messed up was the channel. If the channel is zero, because the rest of the channels are zero, uh, it does work. We just need to have a variable card inside. And if I drop the items, they will go in. Also, now that we have a ton of gold, maybe it's time to upgrade the furnaces. Here is one, the second one, and can go to diamonds? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, we're missing one. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, you can even see the difference between diamond and gold. Considering the fact that we have some emeralds, let's upgrade this one. Oh yeah, much better. When I was setting up the dynamos, the problem was that we were very short on redstone and other resources. We're not doing great at this very moment, but we should be able to afford some pipes. And I guess definitely some upgrades. Yeah, you see my problem. <laughs> we're out of everything. I am pulverizing some iron, that should be enough. Yeah, it's plenty. We just need four. The gold upgrade is also not that expensive. Can we afford it? Yes. So by default, they transfer 256 RF per tick. This should be an overkill, yeah. 8000. Iron would have been more than sufficient. Yes, yes, power is keeping up. That is great. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one.
बाय बाय